Okay guys, uh, back with a tutorial uh, with Pizza Tycoon. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to make money. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a couple of tutorials, uh, upload the save map for you. Uh, it's like Dropbox or something, share it with, share it with you so you guys can uh, follow along and you know use what progress I've made. The first thing I want to show everyone is just start a new game. I always do quick start because it gives you a restaurant. Will you open the restaurant? Eh, not in the beginning. But we're going to try it. I always do large, normal. And for this, we are going to need some money. Uh, I feel the best one for this uh, once we get there. I think it's Tony Vincent is his name. Yep. 75,000. His age is okay. Health is low. His energy is okay. But it's the popularity you really got to worry about. Uh, especially since I'm going to be showing you how to make some quick money, but then I'm also going to show you how to uh, uh, run some restaurants here. So, well, we'll put it under Summit Man. Just hit enter. Uh, we'll change this to Summit Pizza. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, we can start anywhere. Um, I'd like to start in Berlin just for the heck of it. Uh, I do see our restaurant over here. I know everybody's been begging for stuff, uh, for more content and stuff, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get you some content. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time in the day sometimes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rent this warehouse. Now, yeah, it sounds crazy to rent a warehouse right away, but we will... Uh, we'll make plenty of money so we yes we want to rent this um, by the way to figure out what realtor right here Wall Street Estate so I rented this warehouse now the reason I rented that oh now I'm a worker oh don't worry we'll advance pretty quick here the reason I rented it is I'm gonna look at the meats we're gonna go look in at buying we're not gonna buy right away now, if you have a smartphone, this helps. Uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of these prices. And we're going to go to, I th I'm going to say Rome. I'll bet you Rome's pretty good pricing compared to this. Uh, as you see, the lobster and caviar, $25.38. So, let's get out of here. Let's fly to... Rome. Rome's down here. Nope, oh, come on. And I thought there was some warehouses. I see some there, but I thought there were more in Rome. Okay, I guess not. Let's see how much this is gonna rock me. Twenty grand to rent that. Oy vey. That's a lot. Well, let's see the big warehouse bunker here. See what I've got going here. Twenty five. 19, 21, 19, 20, ugh. 19 for 22,000 square foot, 19 for 22,000 square foot. Let's see what this one is. See if this one's any better. Nope, that's not any better. So, looks like we're going to go with this one. And that's Roma, Roma, Roma. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import and export products from one city to another. This helps you, um, it's very time consuming uh, to do when you have a bunch of restaurants going on. So you want to make sure your managers can handle it if you don't have the product. But now we're a small entrepreneur. Gotta love the awards. So we're going to go in here. It's, it's very, very time consuming to sit there and just buy product and that's all you do. So it's when, you, when you're making money, you know, you got a hundred restaurants between all your cities. It's not worth it. Uh, why did I go in this far? Uh, Twenty-four and thirteen, so that's good pricing. In the warehouses, you want to right-click and then you can left-click to go faster. If you see the numbers changing, speed. I'm holding the right and then clicking the left to get it to go faster. Oh, we are way over our money. 
So what I want to do is just buy this and we're going to export to Berlin. Yep. And you can export as much as you want and it's right click again. So hopefully, so we're at, just say a thousand dollars. Okay, so now we're gonna fly back to Berlin. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, three hundred dollars. So we're let's ballpark at sixteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars to to be true. So let's go in here. Let's go to the meats. Let's go to sell. Go up. And as you see, whoop, as you see, sixty-six thousand dollars. So we're almost. I mean, we spent twenty thousand on rental. Uh, what was it twenty-eight thousand on rental, and we're almost up to where we need to be. So it is a good money-making scheme. It is time-consuming until you get a decent amount of money, but it's worth it. So we'll just do this a couple times. Uh, there's a lot of cheats out there for this. I don't use the cheats because it's literally that a cheat. This, you know, yeah, I guess you could call it a cheat, but it's not because I'm buying it. I'm taking time. It's time consuming to do this. You know, it's costing me money to do it. And I have made mistakes, so I have lost money. The I will show you there is a downside to it. Uh, as soon as I sell this batch, let's export it real quick to Berlin. It's going to cost, yep, $800 again. It's always going to cost you the same amount to export. And the flights are going to be the same. That never changes. Um, and I've played for like 30 years in-game. I've never seen it ever change. So it should stay the same for us. Let's export it. Let's fly over to Berlin again. Oh. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Ah, uh, now well, let's go to Bank of Rome. Now, with this, I can borrow this money. As long as I'm not in Rome at the end of the month, I will never actually technically have to pay it back, I don't think. Uh, I need a loan. Uh, $4,000. Yeah, that's all I really need. I just need enough money to fly. <laughs> I can't believe I did that again. Uh, yes, I've done that many times. Uh, but at least we know we're getting the max out of it. And it is it is time consuming, but it is fun, especially when oh, I don't want to buy. I want to sell. The other thing is you have to watch the quality uh, because sometimes the quality is lower and you won't be able to sell it. Oh, there we go. And look, we're up to one hundred and two thousand dollars, one hundred and six. Yeah, all the loan money, hundred six thousand dollars. But if you see here, quality, it's I'm buying it at a hundred quality. I can sell it at hundred quality. But if I buy it under it, some you know when I go in here, let's go to buy, just to show you the buyers. This guy may not buy it because it's not at a hundred percent. So you do have to watch that. Uh, one th one downside to this, it's showing that, that we lost. A hundred and forty thousand dollars because I bought a hundred and twelve thousand in stock. I didn't technically buy that much. I did, but I didn't. And I sold it right away. And then if you go in here, your profit, it's showing supplies zero. So you do claim it on your taxes at the end of the year, which can get expensive. But if you get enough money, I'll show you how to hide that. Now this is just for this tutorial. What I'll do is, you know. I'm going to pause for a little bit. I'm going to get up some money and I will show you how to hide your profit. It's real easy and real fun. So I'll be back here shortly, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, it only took me about mm, two trips to get up to $286,500. So um, one thing I am going to let you know, uh, let me see if it shows you. Yep. I bought cheaper. I bought it for $10 at a shot and I sold it here. Uh, the reason I, if you see that I did, I purchased one here, one here. Um, when you buy it, it's different than when you sell it. Uh, 
but if you see here I can buy that the caviar I sold it at 28 I bought it at like 10 or 15 so I really doubled my money all but doubled my money or almost tripled my money I should say so one one trip was good uh, the next step in making money uh, once you have enough the reason I picked Berlin is the properties are cheap see this Whoop. Let's click it again and again. This one here is $97,000 for an 18 by 18. I could buy this, open it up, and just kill it with this. So let's go ahead and buy this. I'm not going to open it because I'm going to show you how to hide some profit. It does take time, but it's less money spent to taxes and stuff. It's kind of like tax evasion. Uh, I want to buy this shop. Yes, ninety-seven too. You can rent it first; it will be cheaper. So if you're low on funds, it's you could it, that is a way to do it. But um, I really, I really wouldn't recommend doing that because most of the time you won't make your profit back. So I'm going to sell this shop. Nope, I don't like your price. I want twenty percent more. Up oh, there you go. I bought it. Same, same. I didn't even have to back out of this, and I made a profit. So I'm going to show you what I mean by hiding some money. Look, we're out five hundred and forty thousand dollars. We're just it's it's we're losing money left and right, up, down and all around. But we're not. We made two hundred thousand dollar profit. And if we follow the mouse over here to the properties, if you see, I lost five thousand seven hundred and forty eight dollars in property. I didn't technically lose it, but it came off of this. So, at the end of the year, yes, this, you know, when you have more money here, it's going to still show the profit over here, okay? So, it went from here to this column. But, at the end of the year, you invest that money in banks just before the end of the year, December 30th, 29th if you want to be comfortable. But, you invest that money, yeah, you don't have access to it, but you'll get that back at the end of the month or at the end of three months so don't put it all in just the profit you know um, if you look you know like I have this restaurant here I still didn't open it oh that's not mine that this one's mine uh, I still didn't open it but I'm not planning on it right now I want to make some cash here uh, so uh, look this one's 108,000 oh that's gonna hurt us you know that's a lot of money that's why I did this a lot of a lot of the other cities are really expensive, two, three hundred thousand million. It all depends on the size and stuff like that. So I want to buy this place. Yes, for 108. I was hoping we could haggle a little. Ha I had to haggle a little bit to show you how to do it. Let's sell this place. 93.9. I'm gonna try for 20% more. See, now he didn't. He didn't like that. So we're gonna haggle again. Not on those conditions. We're still losing money, even though it took him a little bit to come back. We're losing money. Don't hit it another time. Go right back out. Uh, what? I think it was this one. I should have remembered it. How may I help you? So you know it's right. If you go in the wrong, it says you have to deal with, you know, another person. So it's 96000 So he's higher. There you go. Right there. $7,000 profit. Okay. And we'll go back out and check the balance sheet to show you that we're at the same profit level. Oh, yep, this one. See, we're still same profit level. So I have to hide 207000 which is roughly the profit I made so far. With that, there's a lot of different things we could do to make more money. So there is a way. I don't know how to do it. Um, to get different arms dealers and stuff. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this guy. We're going to start buying weapons because you can make some good money on it. But you don't, under any circumstances, want to buy it without knowing what you can sell it for. Uh, I, I normally do chocolate. Okay, it's $5,600 a scoop. And if you hit the thumbs down, they're going to yell at you. So let's fly to Baltimore. Uh, $920 flight. Will it be worth it? 
go into the others. The bottom one is always the gag shop slash uh, arms dealer, ice cream dealer. Do you have some ice cream? Let's pick chocolate. Okay, so I could make a little money the other way, but that's not the way I want to do it. Let's see. I think there's one that's like 10,000 usually. Do you have ice cream? Is it lemon? Yeah, see, lemon is 13,000 for one scoop. So let's go over back to Berlin. Or let's do London. Let's see what London looks like. That was 13,000, I think. I hope. This is why I buy it and it wasn't. We're in trouble. Do you have ice cream? I want lemon. No, see, that's too close. They're going to pay less. So let's fly to Madrid. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money on flights, but we got the money. We got some money here. We can play around here. Do you have ice cream? Oh, excuse me. Ice cream? Ugh. I lost profit. Yeah, well, it shouldn't have taken money out because it's going to charge me rent. That is one of the downsides to this, is it does that. If you're making a profit, you make that profit. Uh, and to figure out what profit you're making, you just go to company here. See, we're losing here. Nothing. Zero, zero. Losing. It's going to do that. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's see what... We buy lemon for here. Yes, let's buy it. How many scoops would you like to buy? Uh, let's do 20. Okay, and yeah, yeah, I know it's hot. And this also helps you get your underworld status up. So let's get. Cut bait, get out of here. Let's get to Baltimore ASAP so we don't lose our weapons. Don't even click into the screen and get zoom in because there's a higher chance of getting caught the closer you get. Introducing some brand new goods. Oh, that's interesting. Lemon, 12,000. See, now we made a profit. How many would you like to sell? 20 pieces. $348,000. So, now, with that being said, we did jump up $3,000 profit in weapons deal. The more you do this and the more goals you hit doing that. So, here it doesn't show us that we bought the weapons, but we're up $256,000 in profit. It doesn't show any losses anywhere else. But as you see, our profits, you know, our properties are still, you know, negative $13,000. Um... So what we're going to do, you never want your properties to be in the positive at least the first year. Um, and say the second year, you don't want it to be in the positive over what it was in the negative the first year. Because you want to make sure that you can hide your profit money so you don't pay the taxes on it. And let's just do that again. Let's go to, well, let's see what Vienna looks like. It's close to home, so it's not going to cost us a lot to fly if this isn't worth it. There are more secret arms dealers. You have to find the hidden money or the hidden things. Yeah, see, that's too close. Let's fly to Paris. Let's just check them out, you know? It doesn't hurt to check them out. We're making killer money, so we're good. Come on. You see? No, you're not worth it. Now, it would be nice to get liability insurance in case I do get caught, but I'm a risk taker. I'll take the risk. What happens is liability insurance, if you get a fine, pay a fine, you always want to get the highest insurance, especially when you're buying and selling 
uh, weapons because the highest insurance will pay the, the higher price insurance will pay out if you get caught you know you don't want to intentionally get, I mean you can intentionally get caught and cheat the system and get the yeah there we go how many scoops would you like 20 pieces uh, do you have ice cream I think I have enough for another 20 yep I have enough but you don't want to this is taking a big risk I have all my most of my money wrapped up in this so let's fly here as soon as you get in here get into others as soon as you dial a number you're good but uh, I don't like cheating the system you know you get insurance just in case you know it's one of those things if you get caught you get caught no big deal interest in some brand new goods a little lemon let's see how much we make on this one see we're up to 290 already interest in brand new goods how many do you want to sell me another 20 pieces five hundred and forty two thousand dollars so properties make you a little bit of money and they help hide money to an extent like you'll make profit and then it shows a negative so when you hide the money you're good um <laughs> that would hurt so we're at 500 and we're gonna get another award for um being a you know half a millionaire so as you guys see it is quick and easy to get money in pizza tycoon my next set of videos will be showing you guys we're gonna fly back to Berlin here showing you guys I know I did a play th a let's play and we had two episodes and it crashed and burned I'm gonna show you how to open the restaurant there is a recipe book out and I was able to actually get my hands on a digital copy of it so I will show you how to make these recipes the ones that are not here there is some cheats out there where you can put a bunch of killer recipes in and all that stuff I don't do that uh, I'm gonna use the regular recipes that they have here make my own stuff like that you by no means have to make it fancy you just have to put the right amount of ingredients so if it says like if you let's just look at a recipe this one's nope, let's view the ingredients it says 420 grams of tomatoes so you want to make sure you have 420 grams of tomatoes just like the 50 grams of garlic 160 grams of parmesan 32 grams of oregano you need to make sure that these numbers are accurate and that's the hard part is trying to figure that out sometimes so it doesn't matter what it looks like you just do it you know yes they give you pictures there is no you don't as long as as long as these numbers add up the system doesn't look at fanciness so next episode what we're going to do is we're going to get this restaurant up and going with just the standard four recipes they give you we didn't need to do the quick start we have the money we you know we built up money real quick real easy but i wanted these four recipes that way i don't have to start right away making their recipes um uh, maybe you know next you know when i start the actual playing of the game we'll do that um off camera i am going to work on you know not this time because I have plenty of money for next episode but we will look into uh, buying and selling properties here there and everywhere to uh, make it work uh, so right now guys this is the end of the episode if you like this please like it uh, subscribe so I know that you know you guys are gonna keep watching uh, and the next episode will be out you know a little here a little there uh, try, I'll try to do at least one or two videos a week, sometimes more if I can, and we'll go from there. But until later, see you later.